Hello friends, so far we have learned the development of uh, prisms and pyramids right. We have done questions in square prism, then hexagonal prism and then hexagonal pyramid intersection by some sections right. And now we are moving to the development of cones. So what is the basic difference between the development of a cone and the development of a pyramid? Listen. You can see that uh, this is the front and top view of a cone, okay. So that uh, we have uh, the radius as well as the length of slant edge, okay. The development of a cone will be a sector having a radius is equal to the length of its slant edge, that is the true length of its uh, slant edge, having an angle theta is equal to 360 into r by l where r is the radius of the cone and l is the length of its slant edge understood so the development of a cone will be a sector having a radius of l and a, an angle equal to theta is equal to 360 into r by l okay so now we are moving to a problem the problem you can see in your screen right now the problem is Draw the development of a cone of radius 50 mm, of a diameter 50 mm and height 60 mm which is resting on one of its bases on the ground and it is intersected by a section plane perpendicular to VP inclined at an angle 60 degree and bisecting the axis or passing through the midpoint of the axis. Draw the development of the cone. See this is the question. Okay. So the first step is draw the front and top view of the cone. Right. So this is the top view, you can see the circle there and in the front view you can see the triangle. So this is the front and top views of the cone. Divide the cone into 8 equal parts. label in the top and front views. This is O1, O2 and here it is O2 dash and O1 dash. So we have completed the two views of the cone, right. Now it is given that it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP, an auxiliary inclined plane, inclined at an angle 60 degree. Actually it is given that it is cut by a section plane at a height of 30 mm from the base. Here since this height is 60, this will be its midpoint. So, this is the point where the section plane intersect with the axis and at an inclination of 60 degree you will get a section plane like this. So that uh, this plane have intersected one point here 1 dash, 2 points here 2 dash 3 dash, 2 points here 4 dash 5 dash, here 2 points 6 dash 7 dash and 1 point here sorry two points here at the base that is 8 dash and 9 dash. So we have completed all the sections. Now we have to obtain uh, draw the development. So I have already explained what is the development of a cone. The development of a cone will be a sector having the true length of its slant, uh, slant edge and an angle having an angle theta is equal to 360 into r by l where r is the radius of the cone and l is the true length of its slant edge. Now what you understood by the term true length of the slant edge, see you can see that this is one of its slant edges or slant length, slant height, okay. Now just listen its opposite projection, what is its opposite projection? Here it is O2 dash A dash and its opposite projection O2 A is parallel to the XY line, right. So we have known that when a line or when a projection is parallel to the reference plane, its opposite projection will be true length which means this will be true length clear and in the case of a cone this will be O2 A will be always parallel to XY line so that because we have we are dividing it into 8 equal parts right. So since this O2 A is always parallel its opposite projection O2 dash A dash will be 
always it is a true length ok this slanted edge will be always true length so no need to find any more true length as in the case of a pyramids we have done earlier ok so for the case of a cone this length will be always the true length of the sector that we have to draw for getting the development right now now we have to calculate theta so what is theta theta is equal to 360 into r by l we know that r is equal to 25 in this question and l we have to measure and when you are measured this value you will get a you you will get a value around 65 so substituting 65 here the angle will be the angle will be 138.5 the angle will be 138.5 degree ok so now we are moving to draw the development listen so we know that uh, this will be the development of this cone without a section where this angle is 138.5 degree right so for getting a development symmetrical the best thing you can do is just draw a horizontal line this line and this line do not have any uh, linearity first draw a line this line need not be the extension of this xy line ok so draw a line we have known that uh, the angle is 130 8.5 degree so take the half of that 138.5 half of that 138.5 means uh, 65 69.25 so that's uh, 69.25 so at an inclination of 69.25 select a point at an inclination of 69.25 take this length that is 65 draw a line continue the same 69.25 measure 69.25 here also and draw the same line here so that now we have obtained the development of the cone without intersection right this means this is the development of the cone having a diameter 50 and height 60 now the next step is a divide this into 8 equal parts as we have divided the circle into 8 equal parts divide this also into 8 equal parts so the easiest method is take 138.5 divided by 8 in your calculator and make take that value with your protractor so okay so if we have protractor here and if you have that 138.5 divided by 8 in your hand you can just put 8 dot like this and one more thing is there if your values are correct the fourth point will be coming in the xy line in this line also so that we can uh, check whether we have uh, uh, done it uh, correct or right or wrong ok so take 138.5 divided by 8 take that value in your protractor uh, take a protractor take that value in your protractor and put 8 dots so that uh, you have divided the development into 8 equal parts right now label it capital A B C D E F G H again A now what is the next step we have to transfer these 9 points in this development so how we can transfer this 9 points into this development as in the case of a pyramid what we have done is transfer all the points to the corresponding true length line and then take that value and mark that points here on the development right why we have gone for the true length value because in the case of a pyramid there may not be uh, the opposite projection is parallel or the uh, uh, the edge on the right side may not be true length according to its position of the opposite projection but in the case of a cone this will be always true length as this is always parallel to x value so the next step is transfer all these points to the true length line so now for obtaining the development we have to transfer these nine points in the development right so the first step is transfer these nine points in the true length line as in the case of the pyramid so transfer all these points all these points to the true length line 
take those distances and mark on the corresponding generators in the development. For example, take this distance and mark it on A, here and here. Then take this distance, take, take this distance, mark it on the generator B and H. So that will come somewhere here. Similarly, take the distance, this distance and mark it on the generator C and G. Take this distance, take this distance, mark it on the generator through F and D. That means through F and through D. So, those points will come here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now, the two remaining points, 8 and 9. How can we mark those 8 and 9? Because we can see that is, these points are lying on the base. Okay, so it will be lying here. That means between F and D. Between F and D, those two points will be lying. So how can we obtain those points? For that points, draw a vertical line from this point to the top view, so that those lines will intersect two points on the base. So take this distance. This distance is from E to towards F. So take this distance and mark from E to F so that you will get the point H. Take this distance from E towards D and mark here so that you will get 9. Connect all these points as a curve since it is a case of a cone. Now we can see that this, this portion is removed, right? So this portion is removed means only this much portion will be there. That means this much portion will be there in the cone. So this is the final development. So diameter 50, height is 60, this height is 30. So I hope all of you have uh, understood. The only difference between the uh, this and the pyramid is since uh, Cone don't have any slant edges, so they only have a generator, so these lines should not be darker because there is no such line physically. Only this much portion should be darker. If we are uh, keeping this portion and removing this, it is practically not possible, then we have to draw this as uh, thick lines and this as thin lines. So, I think all of you have understood this is an easy uh, portion. So, I think uh, all of you have understood what I have explained.